Ah, I see you received my message. Good, good. I had something important to discuss with you. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? That's excellent news. So they'll help us, right? Let me know as soon as you have an answer from them. I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? Let me know as soon as you have an answer from them. Interested in politics, huh? Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago back in the NCR as the local mayor and worked my way up from there. I managed President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm the third NCR representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's it. Anything else you wish to know? I can provide a quick history lesson, if that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojavean force with the objective of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parley. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival, and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the Dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the Dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble, but that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. It's the same old stuff around here. Gambling, debauchery, drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. I don't get out of the office much anymore. 
Goodbye.